Hi everyone, I'm Vesta, a business development manager in Tibo Technology, Aggregate Solutions. And today we are looking at how to add a non-standard SNMP device into our system. It starts with SNMP driver configuration, double click on SNMP, choose MIP directory tab, and you can see a list of MIP files which are loaded during the server launch. There are more than 300 here, but they are enough for monitoring most common devices. But we are interested in non-standard switch by Hirschman firm. We need to add a new MIP file, so how to add it? Right click on SNMP and choose add MIP files. Click on choose, choose a file we need and open. Press OK. Now the system added an additional file. We can check it. Okay, right click on SNMP again, choose MIP directory once more, and we can see that our file is right at the bottom of the list. Okay, we made sure. Now we can actually add the device itself. Double click on devices, select a network host type device, type in its name, and enter its IP address. Press OK. The primary diagnostics is being performed. And that's how we actually defined available assets. The system has found SNMP. Here you can see which MIP files match the device. OK, the system found 19. The files which are checked have out-of-the-box analytics in our system. We need to check the file we just added. Click OK, OK. And actually we close the dialog here. Now the system is performing the device polling. According to the files we chose, it may take from several seconds to several minutes depending on the system performance. So right at this moment, you can see that data collection is being performed right now. Let's wait till it finishes. A little bit more. OK, done. Synchronization is finished. OK, right click on the icon, choose configure device. And in this dialog, you can see the so-called device snapshot which means these are data received from the latest synchronization. These tabs display data which are grouped according to MIP files we chose. And data received by SNMP are visualized in the form of a table which is very convenient. Right from this table, well, you can let's say, enable a network interface. You can also see that our additional MIP files have been also processed and data have been received. Now when we have all data, we can choose variables and add additional analytics, visualization, data processing, like we can create an alert, a report or a widget, whatever you want. So that's all for today. Thanks for your attention. Goodbye.